What's going on guys, Brandon Harden here. Hope you're having a great day. A bit of a late one, but it's never too late for a back workout. We're literally just heading to the gym right now. Originally today was gonna be a rest day, but today's just one of those days where I need to get in the gym. And I thought I'd take you guys along with me. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. <laughs> Thinking about starting with something that I haven't done for a while now, which is pull-ups and dips. I'm feeling a little bit quite tight. I need to get loosened up. Yeah, we're doing we're doing pull-ups and dips to start off with back. We're just gonna do three sets of each. So we're gonna do three sets of like 10 to 12 pull-ups, and then we're gonna superset that with the dips, 15 to 20 reps. I never say like actually what I'm doing, like with reps and sets and stuff. Over prep, I should feel like I should do it more. BPM before the set is 112, and then we'll check it after the set. <laughs> 140, yeah, 17 minutes. 143. As well, it's unhealthy. It's not meant to be 143. That's quite bad. I'm so unfit. How's it gone down? 105. How is it 105? 106. Just this scream right now. Scream? Yeah. Like oh, scream? Yeah. Go. Really? Yes. Go, see? It went down. No. 97. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I swear when I screamed them, my voice broke as well. My heartbeat went down. I should just delete my YouTube channel. I'm getting that many fucking dislikes recently. If you can't beat them, join them. I'll dislike my own video. <laughs> you don't do shit. 106. Yes! <laughs> Why have you got such small legs? All right, so took a bit of a breather up until this point, although it may have looked like I've been having a savage, intense workout off, like on the camera. I've actually been having a pretty sucky session in about three exercises right now, and I've been having about a 60% capacity workout, which can't be happening because in the next two weeks, two and a half weeks, I'm actually starting prep. Originally was gonna be in like four to five weeks time, but there's been a change of plans, which I'm actually gonna speak about. I've been really excited about it, and I haven't stopped smiling about it for the past like two or three days now. I'm so happy about the show that I'm now competing in. No room for shit workouts, so had a bit of a breather. We're like walking back in to the session with a new mindset. <laughs> Thank you. 
slow the way, control the eccentric. People should train the way they enjoy. Now and again, finesse it with, you know, the scientific way to do it. I'm gonna quickly elaborate on what I'm saying is I do think it's very important to control the eccentric and obviously you should break your own mold and do things that you're not used to. But at the end of the day, like you need to do what brings you back in the gym and keeps you having fun and enjoying your workouts. Personally, I love to lift weight that I can't like control and weights that I have to do at a speedier repetition to be able to lift the weight because it's what I like to do. Off camera, I maybe did three sets super, super controlled and then I put an extra plate on it and recorded that set and had fun with it you know like i don't record every single set in the gym and i am always switching things up so i'm doing my best got back from the gym apologies for the tired eyes because i'm actually crashing so freaking hard right now from pre-workout i feel like that's why i thought originally i was having a bad workout but it was actually because i just took so much stim pre-workout i took one scoop of the pump from hd and another scoop of the black edition because i was experiencing so much vasal constriction which is what happens when you take a stim product vasal dilation is what happens when you take a pump but i feel like because my body was affected so much from the pre-workout i just like couldn't get a pump which is really really weird and it's sometimes happens when you do overdose on pre-workout haven't taken two scoops for so long now and i probably won't be taking it for a while in actuality tomorrow i'm probably gonna wake up and my back is going to kill because i might have actually been having a really really good workout because i was pushing so hard and i was just like why am i not feeling anything and it's probably because of that i was literally almost like falling asleep at the wheel i was like why am i crashing just so freaking hard right now that is not what i'm here to talk about right now i'm actually here to talk about the title of this video which is plans being changed because as you know originally I was starting prep on the 15th of March and that was because my original plans for competitions were these two shows. I was doing the Lee Valley Regional Qualifier that would allow me to compete in the Amateur Olympia in Portugal. First show being on the 6th of July, second show being on the 12th of July. So literally just six days after the first show, if I was to place like top three in that show, I'd be allowed to go to Portugal and compete in the Amateur Olympia for my very first pro card attempt. But the reason I picked those shows is because I didn't really know of that many shows that were happening around the time that I originally wanted to compete. I honestly kind of just settled with those shows. I was like, you know what? I want to do a decent regional qualifier. I've actually been to the Lee Valley show before and I know how it's run and I actually really like it, which is why that show stood out to me as being the regional qualifier. And then being in Portugal, I spent so much of my summers as a kid because my stepdad actually owns a place in Portugal. And when I was growing up, we used to go there all the time. And that's where I celebrated the win from my previous show at Body Power last year so I thought you know what Portugal sounds like a great place to go and compete it's the amateur Olympia there's only three amateur Olympias in the world one in Portugal in July one in London in October and I think the one in Vegas is in September and the reason people travel all around the world to compete in these shows is because they give you IFBB pro cards I think if you got first maybe even second but I think it's just for first place off the top of my head I'm not really too sure and the idea of competing in an amateur Olympia does sound like a really cool show when realistically it doesn't really matter what show you compete in to get a pro card the reason my mind has been changed and I'm actually not doing these two shows now is because on the 12th of June about two and a half weeks three weeks before the original qualifier that I wanted to do there is a show here in Canada called the Toronto Pro Show now this is one of the first bodybuilding shows that I ever saw in my entire life I went to the Toronto Pro Show just for the expo in 2017 and it was one of the most incredible shows that I've ever seen and the idea of stepping foot on that stage just honestly blows my freaking mind it is an incredible show the standard of athletes that compete in that show is honestly incredible the amateur show is on the Friday and the pro show is on the Saturday. And if you get your pro card by winning the overall in your class, I'll be competing in classic physique. Classic is what I want to get my pro card in. Because it's the category I've always been in love with. It's the category that I competed in in my last show and actually was lucky enough to win. It has a special place in my heart. So classic is what I'm going to be sticking with. If you win your pro card on the Friday, you actually get to compete in the pro show on the Saturday. And if you win, you automatically qualify for the Olympia. Not the amateur Olympia, 
the actual Olympia. You know the one in Vegas, the big one that all the Olympians compete in? That's a show that I'll be able to compete in if I was to win my pro card, which is obviously the main goal. I'm not saying I have any chance in the world at actually winning my first ever pro show. The chances of that happening are literally in part, the standard of pros that actually compete in the pro show and are all fighting for that first place win for the direct ticket to the Olympia. The standard is absolutely crazy. The obviously main goal for me right now is just competing in the amateur show to get my IFBB Pro card. I've never tried to get an IFBB Pro card before. All previous shows I've competed in, I've competed in five shows now. I got second in my first one, second in the second, third, then second, then first. But it was all in the federation called PCA. And being a PCA Pro, obviously it's an incredible achievement. You do have to win the British finals to better do that. And there isn't actually pro shows that you can compete in if you become a PCA Pro because you can't compete against all the PCA pros because there are really like six of them. The idea of getting an IFBB pro card for me has been like my my dream since I was like 18 years old and I wanted to compete in a show. I went to a coach and they said, look, you're not ready to compete right now. Pack on muscle for another year. And then when you're 19, we'll coach you. And then I did my show, my first show when I was 19, came second, fell in love with the idea of competing. And here we are. Prep officially starts on the 21st of February, which is in two weeks from now. Prep originally was starting in four and a half weeks, but we're cutting it short, honestly. Seeing everyone prep right now, it's filling me with just so much fucking excitement. Everyone in the gym, Anton, Val, they have all started prep, and I just like, I just want to start dieting. I wanna start getting lean, I wanna bring out, I wanna showcase everything, every ounce of muscle that I've worked for on this off season for the past seven months. I'm ready to bring it out. I'm, <laughs> I can't wait, I can't wait to prep. I, I love prep so much, I feel like I've been become myself in prep. I'm so productive, I'm so active, I'm just so happy all the time. Obviously at the end of prep, it is miserable. You get to like six weeks out and you like hate your life, but I'm doing a 16 week prep. So for the first 10 weeks, I'm just gonna be feeling really productive, really happy and just excited about life. Honestly, like I'm so, I'm so blessed and I'm so lucky to actually have the chance to share this with you. I don't have to go on this journey by myself and I'm hoping that it can inspire you to maybe compete one day or to just diet for summer or to just follow a task that you set for yourself and you will do everything physically possible to finish that goal that you set for yourself. I've actually just been in contact with Zane. You guys, you know Zane, uh, the videographer that's created all my intros and the beginning and my end of my past two shredding series. I'm actually flying him to Canada on the 18th to create episode one of Hard Body Shredding Road to Pro 20. 20. So you guys are gonna see him in the vlogs and obviously yes, a new YouTube intro will be created because everyone keeps on commenting Brandon, Brittany, your ex-girlfriend is still in your intro and like I'm fully aware of that I get it me and Brittany are still friends like it's not weird for her to be in my intro because obviously in the intro It looks like we're just having a good time and that's completely okay We are on good terms. I do get it But obviously there is no point in me changing the intro and having Zane make me a new intro when I'm gonna have a new one hopefully in the next three weeks when it's all recorded and uh, we are all set to start Harbour Dish Reading 2020. So with that being said guys, that is the news that I will be competing in the Toronto Pro Show and yes, I do have to do a regional qualifier. It's about six hours away from here. It's in like, some really small town. It's a week before the Toronto Pro Show because I wanted to pick a show that was after like 15 weeks of dieting so I could just do it. I think you've got to place like top three or top five and then you get to go to the, uh, the Toronto Pro Show. Let me just get the name of it. Okay, so the show 2020, the Sudbury Classic Championships, Open Regional Championships, Sudbury, Ontario. That's the one I'm essentially doing, and that is on the 6th of June. So from the 21st, we have 15 weeks to diet down for that show, then 16 weeks, one more week for the Toronto Pro Show. And if we don't get the pro card at these shows, there are so many shows after this. I will do the Lee Valley show in London, and I will do the Amateur Olympia in Portugal, because obviously those shows are still only like three or four weeks after. Do you think? I'm gonna diet down right now, and then if I don't get it, just give her. I will not be stopping. This year is my goal. I will have a pro card. There's just been so many times over the last few months where, I've, you know, like a song will come on, and I'll just be thinking about like listening to that song on the Stairmaster and just giving it everything. There was times where I would just be that motivated to do well in the show that I would do my hour of Stairmaster, and then for the last minute or two minutes, I'll put a song on and I would sprint up the Stairmaster and just absolutely kill myself. I am that motivated right now. I want to do this that bad that I could run on that fucking Stairmaster for an hour. This is different. I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to start prep and I'm ready to share it with you guys. So that is the news. These are the plans that have been changed and I hope you're just as excited for this as me. With that being said guys, I am going to, 
I'm gonna end this video here. So if you enjoyed the video, please smash the like. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. All right, so need a thumbnail. But I was wearing a hoodie the whole time, so. <laughs> there we go. <laughs>